all these destinations have many common needs amongst themselves, and there's varying distances, different things. Um, you know, so I think we understand the basic requirements of what we need, so we need to now start getting the systems together. And if you, if you boil it down to the systems we need, we clearly need some kind of crew capsule uh, for us to be in. You know, it, it makes sense to not come back into low Earth orbit, circularize in low Earth orbit, and then return to the Earth. That takes a lot of propellant to break into that low Earth orbit. It's much more effective to come directly into the atmosphere and to, to land on the planet or splash down in the ocean. And that's much more effective than it is to get into low Earth orbit and then try to re-enter. So we need a capsule that can take those kind of re-entry velocities, and that's the multi-purpose crew vehicle we're putting together. It's designed basically for kind of, uh, you know, lunar re-entry speeds, but that'll cover Mars re-entry speeds, and it's in the general range. So that's the right kind of capsule we need for that function. Uh, we also need then some kind of rocket to carry effectively large cargo to, to space so we can assemble our spacecraft that's going to go someplace. Um, yeah, as it turns out, station, we took 37 or so flights to build a 900,000 pound mass in, in orbit. You don't want to take 37 flights to do that. You want to do that in much uh, bigger chunks. And so you need a heavy lift launch capability to get those big pieces up. So there's going to be still assembly in space, but it doesn't need to be the level that we've done before. So we need a big rocket to do that. Um, we're trying to design a rocket that's terrible, so it may have a certain booster configuration for certain missions, and then for the bigger missions where we need a lot of mass to orbit, we can go do that. So um, those two pieces of technology fit well right off the bat. Those are good things we need. We're going to need some kind of deep space hab, something to live in while we trans transit to wherever we're going. If we're going to land on a body uh, such as the moon or... Um, Mars will need some kind of lander. So the idea is maybe we can start working on these various components, you know, break them down to the technologies that we need, and then essentially once we've got enough of those technologies understood and the components put together into a system, then I think we're ready to say, hey, we're ready to go to do some mission, whatever that, that mission is. 